Hello and welcome to the Unk Rise show from beautiful Southside, Muncie, Indiana. I hope you're having an awesome day today. Uh, definitely having an awesome day here. Been up nice and early, working on a bunch of odds and ends, enjoying some of my coffee. And this is birthday weekend for me. I consider it a multiple day celebration. And um, so I have a couple things for my birthday that are pretty awesome. I'm happy to report many nice presents and uh, um, talk about that. We're going to carve a pumpkin today. Going to work on some uh, more Halloween preparation. Um, we're going to, um, oh, I don't know, maybe make some snacks and, uh, you know, whatever. So all good. But uh, first of all, let's uh, check the weather, of course. We want to... Uh, See what we got going on with the weather. You know that I'm always hoping for my rainy days. Let's see if I got lucky with cool weather and rainy days. Let's see what we got here. All right. Well, here we go. 66 right now. Today will be 70 and sunny, which is actually good because I have to work on my car today. I want to fix a dent today. So good that it's going to be sunny today. Tomorrow, mostly sunny, 72, 74. Wednesday, 65 with rain on Thursday. So that will be my favorite day of the week. Um, and then it looks like 59 and 61. So cool fall weather is here. Sweater weather is here. And just in time for that, um, I got a brand new hoodie for my birthday. So awesome. Got that on today. Very comfy. Uh, fits very nice. So I got some other nice things. I got a bag of coffee and another bag of coffee and another bag of coffee. Uh, and this seems like a lot of coffee, but this will last me for a few days. So um, the uh, got this. It's in a box right now. Got a groovy coffee mug, which we'll look at here in a second. And... Got mug cakes. So let's try to make one of these because I have my coffee, which I kind of need because I stayed up late last night, but I got up early. So um, anyways, uh, let's uh, try to make one of these. So it says that it makes a caramel brownie in a mug, and all you do is microwave it. Uh, you had a pouch of this in a mug, and you microwave it for 55 seconds with two tablespoons of water. So... Let's see what we got here. So we'll go ahead and have a look. Um, let's go ahead and run over to the kitchen and uh, see what we got. Let's have a look at this mug first, actually. Okay. Oh, very nice. Got a nice happy birthday mug. Uh, so got that from Liam. And I got this delicious stuff. From Liam too. Let's see what these look like inside the package here. Whoops, opening the wrong end. All right, let's see. Okay, what do we have here? Nice. All right. So it says put this in a mug with two tablespoons of water, microwave it, and then let it set for a couple minutes and you have a delicious brownie. So let's make a brownie to go with my coffee. We'll head over to the kitchen and then we'll come back and we'll do some uh, pumpkin carving and see how that goes. So. One second, let's run over to the kitchen. All right, here we go. Let's see how we do with this. So I need a tablespoon to measure with. I have one of those over there. Wait a minute. Maybe it's over here. Hold on. It is over here. All right, so let's get this opened up. We're going to put this mix in a cup. Caramel brownie mix. It sounds delicious. Right, let's put that in there. And we'll go two tablespoons of water. One. And two. Okay. And then we will stir that up here. Okay, I want to stir it up really good. It smells really good. So let's see how we do. OK, 
Okay, 55 seconds. I'm gonna eat off the spoon. Mmm, even without cooking it, it's delicious. So, let's cook it here for a minute. We'll say 55 seconds. And while we're doing that, we will talk about our next steps on pumpkin carving. So we want to go into the pumpkin now, and we're going to uh, carve it, cut the top off, pull that out, get out all the pumpkin seeds, and um, ready to rock on that. So, um, and I think it will be uh, wonderful because we'll make a nice pumpkin, and then we will, uh, not today, but we'll talk about how to cook the pumpkin seeds, and they're uh, very delicious when cooked properly. So we will want to definitely uh, do that. Mm -mm. So, all right, we're coming up on our time. We got just a, a short while. We could even do a countdown, perhaps, like when Captain Kirk went into space this week. <laughs> so we could do four, three, two, one. Okay, so it says they're hot, and you have to let it set for a minute and a half. So let's see what we got here. Mmm. Ah. Smells very good. Okay, so let's see. Let me get. Uh oh. I gotta get a fork. I get it right here in front of my camera. Let's see. See, I have plastic silverware. Because while nothing wrong with metal silverware, I kind of like to just throw it away when I'm done. So, anyways. Alright. Let this set for about two minutes and we'll see. All right, and we are back in business here. So let's uh, let's go ahead and clear some of this stuff off. And I'm going to check a quick setting here. My apologies. I usually don't uh, mess with my settings much during a show, but I just want to check something there. Okay. All good. So anyways, something over there. I'm going to eat a lot of these. Mm. Okay. Coffee out of the way for now. And I certainly got, many, certainly got many other awesome gifts too, I'd like to say, but I uh, just wanted to go ahead and uh, highlight a few for the viewers. So this looks really good. I don't know how well you can see it in there. It's kind of hard to see. But anyways, I made a nice caramel brownie in there, so I'm going to eat that here in just a minute, but it's got to cool, cool down for just a minute. So anyways... That sounds awesome. Okay, so next up, let's go ahead and look at this beautiful pumpkin. Bought this from Southside, from a stand here on the South Side, where they were selling pumpkins. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. <laughs> I got a collar already. My goodness, we got a. An early, early start on callers today. Let me go ahead and call up my caller. Hold on a second. Man, getting an early start today. What's up, Diney? Nothing. Nothing. The, I just met, met a new friend. Who's Presenti, that? Presenting my friend, Diney. <laughs> Hello, I am Diney. Well, wait a minute. You got two. We got, wait a minute. What are your names again? Diny, Diny. You got two Dinies? Yes. Well, I work with three people named Ryan, so I guess I can understand. But that's, uh, well, how do you tell each other apart? I guess the different colors helps, doesn't it? Yes. Well, now, I think Diny number two, can I call him Diny two? Sure. I think Diny two, new Diny, looks like he's a little bit bigger than than oh. the first Diny. I think maybe he's a little... Well, well I'm four. He's a. Oh well, that makes a lot of sense then. So I was gonna say it sounds. It looks like he really would uh, dominates. Is he? Is he the boss now? The new dinosaur in town? Is he uh, coming in, taking charge, or is Diny still the boss? Yes, I'm still the boss, right? <laughs> mm hmm. Diny number two. <laughs> well, those, those are some uh, some very cool looking dinosaurs. Yes, yes, yes. So, what are they going now that there are two dinosaurs in your house? Do they, um, do they, do they play nice or do they, do they fight? We play nice. 
Well, thank goodness for that. We don't have to put them in the corner or send them to their room. And I'm going to get a grab some soup real quick, and I'll drink it. <laughs> okay, well, that would be Are fun. Like oh, look at my spider suit. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. Now I must eat it. Mm. <laughs> now, how soon are you going to be able to uh, to go and get candy for Halloween? I see that you got all your Halloween stuff. And what do dinosaurs dress as for Halloween anyways? Ghostbusters. Oh. And I'll get candy in two weeks. Nice. All right. That's awesome. I know that uh, uh, that uh, I'll probably be seeing some trick or treaters here, and uh, I know that uh, uh, Nate and his friend Jesse are certainly planning to go trick or treating. So um, I don't know about Gavin and Ella or not, but um, but I think everybody should uh, get out there and uh, try to try to get some some snacks, some treats, right? But, but who would give the treats if everyone did it? <laughs> well, that's a good point. So. I'm going to try a bite of my brownie. I don't know if you saw on, on the screen a minute ago, I was making brownies that uh, that Liam got me for my birthday. Oh, mm. I did see it. Oh, those are very, very good. Mm-hmm. I'm eating it right now. Delicious caramel brownie. Very, very tasty. Cool. Mm. I'm also making a mess, kind of. Um, well, now I'm going to let my friend talk. See okay. Ya. See you later, but diny, diny one. Okay. Hello. Diny 2. What's going on today, dude? Mm, not really much. I was just walking and I found this friend. <laughs> well, you'd be nice. He was there first. You know, it's kind of kind of his place originally. Oh, well, this isn't really my home. Oh, okay. Where do you live I at? I got separated from my mom. I found a friend. <laughs> okay, well, are you? Number one. Do you usually live down the street or something? Mm, yeah, possibly. <laughs> well, uh, you're a you look like a, a good sized dinosaur. Very intimidating. I would not want to um, run into you outside. I'd be a, I'd be kind of afraid. Are you a friendly dinosaur or kind of a mean dinosaur? I'm a friendly dinosaur. Oh, that makes me feel a little better. Yeah, that... I'm a friendly dinosaur too. <laughs> well, I'm glad, but you don't look very friendly. You look like you knocked the other guy out of the way. Mm, I look like crocodile face. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna eat you. All right. Now I'll he tell you what. Totally <laughs> Both of you dinosaurs should get some of this brownie in a mug mix. Uh -huh. You'll like that. I got eating it out of my happy birthday mug right now, munching on it. While we're talking, this is some really good stuff. Mm -mm. <laughs> You're not supposed to talk with your mouth full, but I'm I'm eating and I got a lot of lot to say, so I just go ahead and do it anyways. But I know you're not supposed to, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm gonna go eat some spiders right now. See ya. I'll see you later. If you want to stay tuned for a minute, I'm gonna carve a pumpkin and make some. Uh, some special Halloween cupcakes. So. Okay, well, I'm just going to go eat some spiders with <laughs> this you guy. All right, you guys have a good day, all right? Okay, we'll bye. We'll carve a pumpkin. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> bye. Man, nice to have callers so early. This is a very early start today. So, very good. Um, exciting to have more dinosaurs on the show too so what's going on here there we go um sorry i had a little technical glitch there for a second anyways um let's go ahead and see what we got here so i got this nice beautiful pumpkin i got from the south side um stand on the side of the road like a farmer stand very nice very good price uh, i recommend it it's on the if you are on the south side it is um, over by Walmart on 29th Street. So, anyways, want to put in a plug. Very nice uh, stand. Very nice people. And the um, and the the pumpkins were two for five dollars. So you know that's a great deal. So, anyways, we have a oh we have a pumpkin carving kit right here, and um, it has all the tools that we need right there in the front, and then it has stencils on the inside if we want to use those. 
and we go in there and put a stencil on the pumpkin, trace it with the marker or whatever we want, and then we carve it all out. But before we do that, we got to scoop it all out. That's the messy part, the really messy, dirty part. But the good news is that you get to make pumpkin seeds in the oven when you're done, and they are the best. So, love pumpkin seeds. And matter of fact, made some last night because we were doing some pumpkin carving last night too. Goodness, I'm having a hard time getting this out of here. They do not want to... Sorry, that was awful. <coughs> and I choked <coughs> a little bit too, so I'm having a hard time. Um, let's set that right there, and we will go ahead and get our tools out. Now, the fun part, but also the messy part, we're going to take this pan, and we're going to put all the insides of the pumpkin in there, and we're going to take the big carver. I'm going to finish off the last little bit of this wonderful brownie. Mmm, very good. Okay, so one last drink of coffee as well. Let's get down to business. Okay, they said we want to use the the colossal carver on the top. And so what we want to do is cut it in at an angle like this. Now, I'm sure a lot of people watching have carved pumpkins, but let's go ahead and just talk a minute about how we do it. We're going to saw it around like this. And you want to cut it at an angle so it doesn't fall back inside the the pumpkin when to put the lid on it okay so go around <laughs> like this man I wanna wear me out cutting this thing okay here we go now getting closer to the big mess which is the kind of the fun part though okay there we go all right so we're gonna take that Chop that off right there. Make that nice and flat. Okay. Now we're going to take this big scoop thing. See inside here we got all pumpkin guts. All right. So we're going to scoop that out as best we can with this big scoop thing. There we go. And a little more scooping. There's actually quite a bit in there. I'm going to try to do it without making, without destroying our scoop. <laughs> there we go. All right. Looking good. And once you take all these things and you rinse them off in the sink, throw them on a baking sheet in the oven and cook them up. And it makes delicious pumpkin seeds that you can eat later. Now, I do want to share a recipe for making pumpkin seeds because learned a new one last night with a just a very tiny difference from the way that I usually do it and I thought well I better share that it was just a tiny difference because how many ways are there to make them really you know but the thing is there was one tiny thing and so I'll have to share that step here in just a bit so anyways getting close Get all those out. And that's a big mess, but that's that makes it fun though. Okay, now we have this scraper. Let me roll my sleeves up here. This gets a little messy. Here's what it looks like on the inside so far. Okay, now we're gonna scrape it a little bit. Get all the last little bit here. Okay. How about that? Making a big mess. That's what makes it fun. Okay. There we go. Well, it's nice that the Halloween weather is here. It actually feels like Halloween, so that's good. Okay, so there's our mess of pumpkin seeds will cook maybe we'll talk more about that on the next show so all right let's get that taken care of and now let's uh just kind of 
shift things around just a bit here. Now with the top, put that back on. See how that fits real nice like that? So then we can put a candle or a light inside it. I recommend LED lights. They uh, work better and uh, probably a little safer, I'm just saying. I don't know if a pumpkin's gonna catch on fire, but, but I think it's probably safer to use the LEDs. So anyways, let's take that. Now, we have some decisions to make. Go back to our book here. I want to pull that off. <laughs> okay, so we got that. Now, I have to pick a stencil, but you don't have to do stencils. You know, you can, you can just simply, um, you know, go with uh, whatever you want to do. Uh, you don't have to follow a guide or anything. Let me pick one that's not too complicated for today because we don't take too much time let's see maybe just one more hold on let me check one more and then we'll get to carving all right let's see hmm okay go back here we will sorry i'm just debating there for just a moment all right there we go we're gonna do this one right here there we go okay so i'm gonna pull that out and what you do is you take and you gently pull out these pieces right here and let me see if i can do a good job doing it because i don't want to make a too big of a mess here okay and then you take that and you stick it on the pumpkin and then you trace it, and then that gives you a pattern to work with, okay? We're going to keep it kind of simple, but there are some very complex patterns in there as well, if you like. Okay. And I'll punch out this part right here. Now, I hope everybody is going to be making uh, lots of pump. You're carving some pumpkins this year. It's a lot of fun. And... Uh, um, and then, of course, you put them on your doorstep, and there's a little bit of a history behind that, and we'll talk about that in a minute in case you've ever wondered how that works, um, or why that works. I know you know how it works. We'll talk about that. So, anyways, we'll go ahead, we'll stick that on there, and trace it. Now, I'm going to do it, so sticking it on there like that, and I'm going to trace around it, make sure it's going to fit. Yep, it will. So let me do some quick tracing here. Okay. And it doesn't have to be exact. We just have to have it kind of close. That's all. Because we can adjust it to the way that we want our pumpkin to look. So we'll just uh, do a sort of an estimate here. Okay. And. Almost got it. I have to make his mouth just a little smaller, it looks like, because my pumpkin's not that big. Okay. Okay. So here we go. Let me finish this up real quick. Okay. Now, there we go. I think we got it. Okay. So now we got a stencil on the pumpkin right and uh <laughs> it looks a little goofy improvise a little bit so now what we want to do is we want to take and cut each of those pieces out here and we're going to use these nice tools to do it like this so what we're going to do is as you can see right here push that in there we go and then we just start sawing away like that and then when we come to a corner we're going to do it like that. And just keep right on going there. Okay. And then when we get these all cut the way we want, we just pop out each piece. And then we're done. So we'll just keep trucking away here for just a minute. We want to finish this up today. I feel like I need to put these out on the porch and uh, get the celebration underway. So this is the 
last step to really make Halloween officially kicked off. So, okay. So, now we got that. Pop that out. Oh, got some guts popped out with it. All right, see that? Do a little scrape in there, clean that up, but uh, got that the way we want it. All right. Okay, there we go. One eye. <laughs> Let's do the other one real quick. Same process, just turn around here where I can see it a little bit, so we'll get the saw on away on that. I think my favorite Halloween candy, probably, oh, I don't know. Well, let's talk about the ones that aren't so good. What's the worst Halloween candy? If you ask me, the worst Halloween candy has got to be those uh, circus peanuts. Oh, my goodness. Next worst after that, easily candy corn. Awful. Mm. Now, I know some people like it, but my goodness, that is awful anyways uh but uh, favorites i don't know i think favorites would probably be candy bars maybe specifically snickers bars and also three musketeers so i don't know what you guys like but hopefully here we go two eyes <laughs> whoops if i dropped my pumpkin and smashed it that'd be bad all right so just a few more steps here and we'll be done and then we'll do some final cleanup and put a light inside this thing. And I think we'll be ready to call it a day. But we're not done with our show just yet. We do have a few other little odds and ends to, to talk about. Um, we're going to talk about why we carve pumpkins for just a minute. And then we're going to decorate some cupcakes for Halloween as well. Okay nose okay now we'll clean up the stringy parts hanging in the background in a second all right now the mouth and then we'll be done all right it's kind of fun to saw away these things now this is not quite as big a mess as i thought it might be so that's a good thing i'm glad i don't have quite as much mess to clean up is what I expected that I might. So that's a good thing. I'm used to clean up a lot of messes. We tend to have a lot of messes at my house for some reason. Okay. Okay. I think my dog Diesel makes a lot of messes, for starters. And I think my son Nathan also contributes to a lot of messes. So there's that. He's crashed out right now. I have a feeling he stayed up late last night. Not sure, but just a, a thought. Seems like he might have been up late last night making chicken. <laughs> I found, before the show, I cleaned my kitchen up a little bit, and I found a lot of scraps of chicken in the sink for some reason. Not sure why they were in the sink, but uh, trash can might be better. But that's okay, you know. <laughs> Okay, getting close to getting this mouth cut here. And last couple steps. You gotta be kinda careful in these last few too. You wanna make sure that you don't break any part of the, the pumpkin itself or anything, because that'll kind of mess up your design. So you wanna be a little bit careful when you get down these last couple steps. Okay. Also <coughs> excuse me. Yesterday my dog was eating diesel, was eating pumpkin and uh, eating it raw and he liked it quite a bit so that's a good thing and we uh, were able to confirm that dogs can eat pumpkin without having a problem so so that's also good to know did not know that before but good to know dogs can eat it and it's actually even healthy for them if my information is correct and i believe it is correct so so anyways there's that okay getting close i think it's looking pretty good I think there's a little bit of finish work to do on this to pull out some of the extra little pieces and things where it's kind of hanging behind, but I think we're pretty good. Okay. So there we go. There's that. 
All right, not bad. Not bad. We'll get some of the stringy stuff cleaned up. We can do that later. I just want to kind of give you a general idea how to how to make a nice pumpkin. So there's that. My advice would be to get big tool sets like this one so that you have lots to choose from, right? Because that way you can do different kinds of cuts and everything. And you can get very detailed on these if you want to. We're going to set all that over there. And we're going to get our light for this. Now these lights are nice. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it in here. But you get these little LED lights like this. Pop that out. Bottom of it, kind of stick it right into your pumpkin like that, right? So... Pop that off, plug our light in here like this. See that? Okay, now it won't look like too much in here in the house in the daytime, I'll just say that much. But I will say that we stick that in there, kind of dig it into the bottom of the pumpkin, put the lid back on it, and <laughs> if you were outside in the dark, it would look very uh, nicely lit up. Okay, now you can see I got some of those little stringy pieces hanging in there. Uh, when you're doing yours at home, you'll want to clean that up a little bit from the inside. You kind of scrape those out with the, the scraper. But uh, in the interest of time, I won't go quite that far. I just wanted to discuss the basic uh, work. So there we go. I feel like that's uh, a success. I like that pumpkin. So good deal. I'll put it out on the porch and uh, be ready for some trick-or-treaters. So I'm going to put it over on the side. Uh, of where I'm sitting right now, but I will put it on the porch later. How about if I put it under the desk? <laughs> and there we go. So, one more thing out of the way. Now, let's talk for just a moment while I pick this mess up. Parchment paper comes in handy for big messes. Um, let's talk for just a moment here about why we carve pumpkins um because i didn't really know and i thought i would check oh no <laughs> i boogered up my screen there we go fix it so <laughs> oops okay so take care of that um now as far as why we carve pumpkins let's talk about that Okay, so let's go over here, and I have a little presentation about why we do that, and then we will decorate some cupcakes. So here we go. Let's talk about why we carve pumpkins. Okay, so carving pumpkins, you just take it for granted that you just do that. Now, why you do that? Well, I was really curious because I didn't know, so I thought I would just look. See what I could find here about carving pumpkins. What I found was that this was a tradition that came to the United States from Irish immigrants. And it was inspired by strange lights flickering over peat bogs, which are sort of like a mossy swamp. Um, and associated with the legend of Stingy Jack that was sort of like a... Um, uh, like a spirit that lived in the woods, right? And in the the peat, uh, peat bogs, there would be what they call bioluminescent light, which is just uh, like light from the grating moss, and it would they would see it kind of flickering, and, uh, and it made it look kind of like uh, like ghosts or whatever. So, so that's what, that started that. Um, dates back to the 1660s, so it's been a very long time. And um, the uh, original carvings were actually turnips, and they were used to ward off evil spirits. Um, so there you go, turnips used originally. Um, it used as well as pumpkins, and they were carved like that, and they actually were used to make lanterns. So you put a, a candle inside a, a turnip, and it would make a, a lantern. So um, interesting. Not nearly as cool looking as a, you know, as my awesome pumpkin, but you know, still. Um, and then it became popularized in the United States with a story called The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. You may have seen the movie or read the book or maybe even both. And um, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow essentially is that a teacher named Ichabod Crane comes to town and he's trying to impress 
uh, a girl and he goes to a party and they tell him a story about the headless horseman and uh, and then when he's riding home the headless horseman appears and finds him and the headless horseman actually has a pumpkin for a head and so that uh, story became popular and then the pumpkins were that he was using for a head became like a an annual thing and it kind of hyped up the um, uh, the tradition and that's where it really comes from so anyways um, and also, the description of Ichabod Crane is always uh, interesting. In the story, it says he was tall, exceedingly lank, with narrow shoulders, long arms and legs, hands that dangled a mile out of his sleeves, feet that might have served for shovels, and his whole frame mostly loosely hung together. His head was small, flat on top, <laughs> he had huge air, ears, large green glassy eyes, and a long snipe nose. So the Looked like a weathercock perched upon his spindle neck um, to tell which way the wind blew. <laughs> I always like that description. So anyways, uh, cool story and uh, um, definitely something to check out if you haven't. But that is the, the, um, the, the origin of pumpkins um, being carved for Halloween here in the United States. So anyways, um, a little educational item for you. Um, I also found in my pile of Halloween stuff. For some some reason, I got a Halloween earring. It's clip-on. I don't know where, where how I even got that, but for some reason, I ended up uh, with that. So, <laughs> so anyways, let's talk about our cupcakes now. And I want to um, show you uh, my prep work for the cupcakes from this morning, and then we will finish them here in just a moment so here we go here's the this is the video from earlier today i had to um make the cupcakes ahead of time uh in the oven but i wanted to show you how i did it so let's have a quick look and then we will do some decorating all right we're going to make some super moist party rainbow chip cupcakes we're going to decorate those for halloween today to make those uh we're going to heat the oven to 350 and we're going to follow the instructions on the box. So it says step one, step two, step three, which is uh, heat the oven, mix the ingredients, bake it. So let's do that. First thing we do is we take and put the cake mix in a bowl. Got that taken care of over here. Might need something to cut it open with. That should definitely do the trick. Okay, dump that in there. Next up, we need some water. We need, let's see, one cup of water. One cup, perfect. Pour that in. And we need a half cup of oil. So a half cup of oil coming right up. Okay. Hmm. Where is the half cup marker? It's very complicated. Ah. Got it. Perfect. Okay, set that there. And we need three eggs. So, let's see. Make sure that's right. Let's see here. Yes, three eggs is right. Okay. this in and mix them up. Here we go. All right. That should do it. Now we want to take this spatula and 
We have one unfortunate situation. I only have one of these that I can find today. I don't know what happened. So I guess we'll have to make a few different trips to the oven today, but uh, that's all right. Let's see. Now we have silver cupcake um, things, uh, papers, whatever these are called. Um, and we will put those in here like that one at a time. And when we get those in there, we will fill these about two thirds full with batter. And actually, I might want to use a spoon for that now that I think about it. And then we will cook those for whatever the instructions say. So let's see. Let me get a spoon. I think that'll be better. All right. So we'll take that, start filling those up. Two thirds full is what the instruction says. So we'll go two thirds full. I'll try not to make too much of a mess. Okay, so I might have to make a few trips back and forth to get these all cooked at six at a time, but the recipe says it makes 12 to 15, so it won't be too many trips, but uh, might take a few trips to get it done. I'm not sure what happened there, but um, anyways, already smells really good though. I think these are going to be very nice to eat today. Mm -hmm. I don't think you're supposed to eat batter like that raw, but with eggs in it, but I'll probably be okay. All right, so it says put that in the oven for, let's see. Oh, it makes 24 cupcakes. So I guess I'll be making, so get two, four, six. So I'll be making four trips back and forth. That's okay. Um, cook them for 12 to 17 minutes. So let's put those in and uh, see how we do. All right, set my timer. I'll set it for uh, right in the middle, 14 minutes. And we'll see how it goes. And there we go. So, got those done. They're cooled down now. That's an important step. Icing kind of melts if you don't let them cool. So, we're going to make eyeball cupcakes. And we're going to use some fake blood on them. And some white icing. And um, so, it's vanilla icing. And um, we're going to go ahead and put some icing on top of those kind of piled on a little bit all right okay so nothing too fancy about these we're just going to take first step some white icing on top of those like that and i kind of like a lot of icing so i might put a little extra on i don't know whoops making a little mess too all right so scoop that up again there put that on there like that okay there we go, maybe just a little extra. Okay, well that's a good icing on those, okay? There's that one, there's two, all right? Now the eyeballs that we're gonna put on these are gummy eyeballs, not real eyeballs, and you can buy them many places like the grocery store or Walmart. I was at Walmart yesterday, so got those there. And I heard a door open. I suspect that Nate may be up and at him. So, um, anyways, let's go ahead and get that piled on there. Okay. Now, I'm going to put that right there. And close that lid. So, now we have three pretty normal looking cupcakes. So, now if we want to make them Halloween cupcakes, what we're going to do is get out our gummy eyeballs. Let's have a look here. Okay, there we go. Let's have a closer look. Very convincing. Those look like real eyeballs. Oh no, the wrapper's stuck a little bit. Okay, hold on, let me do it this way. And now you can hear my dog Diesel and his collar shaking his head. <laughs> Everybody's waking up now. I've been up for hours. So, anyways, um, gummy eyeballs. These are cool. They're kind of almost kind of squishy and jiggly like real eyeballs. These are 
This is really cool. Anyways, um, but to make it extra cool, we want to use some of this stuff. This is called Red Decorating Gel. And um, again, you can get this at the grocery, Walmart, whatever. I did get all this stuff at Walmart, just FYI. I think I said that already. But anyways, you take that and you drizzle it on there like that because we want blood to go with our big eyeballs, right? So that around there like that. Like got blood dripping off of them. Okay. And got all that. Now we take... And put a big eyeball right in the middle of each one. So we'll plop that down right there. Okay. And go to the next one. Then we'll have a look at what they actually look like. And then maybe you can make some eyeball uh, cupcakes as well. So here we go. There's that. And that. Okay. And that's what we got when we're done. Some... <laughs> some bloody eyeball cupcakes for Halloween. So, I think what I have to do now is I have to try one. Just one. And then make some more later. I've got a whole tray of cupcakes, but I'm going to try one. I, was, I guess I just have to eat the eyeball in one big bite, I think. This is going to be messy, so just FYI. <laughs> mm -mm. For... Bloody eyeball cupcakes. This is good. Good eyeballs. Mm mm mm. And my dog Diesel just walked up for a bite, so I'm gonna eat this. <laughs> and I'll give him this bite. There we go. All right. So very good. I'm going to have to get some, get in a workout today. I've been eating cupcakes and brownies and all kinds of stuff, but, um, but I can do that. So anyways, one last thing before we go. So go make some eyeball cupcakes and carve a pumpkin. Get all that done today. Be a good thing to spend your day doing. Um, one last thing I wanted to share before we go. I said a minute ago that I learned a new trick about making pumpkin seeds. Now, people watching may already know this, so this may be something that you say, well, everybody knows that, but I didn't know it, so I was going to share because I was surprised at the difference, okay? So let me call up my screen, and I'm just going to go straight to the website, and it's uh, Simply Recipes, and um, let me share here, and it's Roasted Pumpkin Seeds. I'll put the link in the video, um, but what they, the thing that was different that I had not done before is if I scroll down, they're just talking about how to get them, blah, 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 blah. Everybody knows that. So it's cut out, rinse the seeds, and on and on and on. And then this step right here. Boil pumpkin seeds in salt water for 10 minutes. So if you do that um, and you follow their uh, recipe here, which is um, for every half a cup of Pumpkin seeds, you add two cups of water and one tablespoon of salt. Um, if you do that and you boil them for 10 minutes, then cook them, uh, they're um, uh, very nice texture to them. They're a little bit uh, crunchier uh, if you cook them a little, cook them long enough, and uh, and the salt's like just perfect. So do that. You put them on a tray. Olive oil is good. Put down a bunch of olive oil on your pan. Spread these out one, one seed thick on the pan. Boil them in salt water for 10 minutes, and... Um, and you'll be surprised at how good they are. Uh, you do have to cook them a little extra, though, after you boil them, just FYI, so that you have to cook them about 20 minutes at 400, so um, depending on the size, of course. So anyways, well, I hope everybody has an awesome day today. Uh, I am. Um, I am going to go work on my car, which is probably a little less than awesome, but I'm going to start, start doing a little work on a dent that I've got to fix, so I'm going to be doing that. And... Uh, and then I'll probably just eat the rest of these cupcakes and uh, drink some more coffee and uh, make another uh, brownie uh, here in a minute. So anyways, I hope everybody has an awesome day. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.